great to get a Christmas gift that you've really wanted, but receiving a surprise can be an even bigger thrill. That's why I'm not giving you Yubika's Christmas menu in advance, because she's about to lift the lid. I can't believe how fast the year has flown by, and on a joyful note, it's time to prepare the Christmas feast. I'm taking inspiration from Persia this year, and on my menu, a Persian-style roast turkey, rice stuffing flavoured with almonds and pistachios, a bit of saffron going in there as well, cumin potatoes, and for dessert, a traditional fruit cake. I'm starting out with the fruit cake, and for that, I've creamed the butter and brown sugar. Now, next ingredient going in, some beaten egg, Add little bits of flour to prevent the mixture from curdling. Now add a little flour to the dried fruit. and also add the nuts to the dried fruit as well. Now stir that around, and this prevents the dried fruit from sinking to the bottom of the cake. And for the dry ingredients, we've got some cinnamon going into the flour, some cardamom, then some nutmeg, and some mixed spice. To that, three teaspoons of baking powder, and use the spoon to mix that through lightly. Now add some flour to the cream butter, sugar and egg and alternate this with some milk. Have a look. It smells like Christmas in here already. And now the brandy. Generous black going in. The batter's now smooth. A little salt. and the dried fruit. Use a spatula and swirl the dried fruit into the batter and make sure you get right to the bottom of the mixing bowl just to ensure the ingredients are well combined. This cake makes your home smell absolutely aromatic and delicious. The aromas waft through the house. Into the baking tin, I've greased and lined a 25 centimeter cake tin and now pour in the batter. The last of the batter going into the tin. Now use the spatula to smooth the top of the cake and to decorate I've got some whole almonds. And just place them on top in a design. Cake's now ready to go into the oven, 170 degrees Celsius for about 70 to 85 minutes. For the stuffing, we've got some cooked rice going into a mixing bowl. I'm using basmati rice for this. Then some chopped chicken mince. Some sausage meat, and I'm using chicken sausages for this. About 400 grams. brown onion for flavour, season with salt and just remember the chicken mince already has salt in so season lightly, some fresh coriander, a handful, just roughly chopped and then two egg yolks and now I've dissolved some saffron in hot cream mix the ingredients together.
And now stir in the pistachios. And the flaked almonds too. This will add a lovely crunch to the stuffing. Now let's get this into a grease dish. Scoop the stuffing into the dish. And I've greased this one already. You can use butter or non-stick spray. And that's the last of the stuffing. Now use the spoon and press the stuffing down into the dish. Now drizzle with sunflower oil, just a light drizzle. Bake this off at 180 degrees Celsius for about 40 to 45 minutes. The star of my feast is always the turkey. And here's the recipe for my Persian-inspired turkey. The first thing we're going to do is to prepare the butter. We've got soft butter going into a mixing bowl. Garlic. Ground cinnamon. Red chilli powder. And ground cumin. and cream those ingredients together. The flavoured butter is really important when you're making a turkey. It's what keeps it tender and moist. This does get a bit messy. I'm going to take off my ring before I carry on. And now I've got an onion sliced in half. That goes into the turkey cavity. A few cinnamon sticks and two bay leaves. Bunch of fresh thyme, a slice of orange and lemon and use a piece of string to secure the turkey. It is a bit difficult with just two hands. Ah, got it. Now season with salt. Now lightly loosen turkey skin and take care not to break through it. This is what keeps the turkey breasts moist and tender. Now for the butter, it does get very messy from here on. Under the turkey skin, push it all the way up as far as possible. And the remaining butter, smooth that over the turkey. We clean up the hands and we can finish up on the turkey. We've got some onion halves and carrots going into the roasting pan. And now some onion juice. I've grated two onions and squeezed out the pulp and this is just the juice. Pour that over the turkey. And next some orange juice. This is the juice of one orange. Now loosely cover the turkey with foil and bake this off in a hot oven at 180 degrees Celsius. For the cumin spiced potatoes, I've greased a pan with non-stick spray, preheated it as well, and now in goes some sunflower oil. Potatoes love oil. It does seem a bit excessive, but it does work. And now in goes some cumin seeds. Sprinkle them in. It does foam up a bit. That's just the non-stick spray. And I've parked some potatoes. That goes into the pan. Leave them to brown. Now season with some salt. These potatoes are best left alone in the pan. If you move them around too much, they tend to break and then they don't crisp up. Gently turn the potatoes over. As you can see, they're golden in color. I do love potatoes, it's my favorite vegetable. The potatoes have crisped up beautifully. They're golden brown. That's ready. 
switch off the heat. In goes some fried brown onion. And now some fresh coriander. Stir the coriander through. It sizzles in the hot pan. And that's our potato done. This is my Persian-inspired Christmas feast. I've roasted the turkey to go with that a nutty rice stuffing flavoured with saffron, cumin spice potatoes and for dessert a traditional fruitcake. From me, Merry Christmas.